Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I saw over on Izzy's channel from Isabeau's Literary Musings. I'll link her channel down below if you guys are interested in checking her out. She's great. But she did a video all about the books that she feels she should have read by now and I thought that was a wonderful idea. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some books that I haven't read yet and some of them I have an excuse as to why I haven't read it. Others, there's absolutely none. So if you're interested in knowing some of the books that I feel like I'm way behind on reading, then go ahead and keep watching. The first book on that list is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is a book that came out several years ago, kind of around the same time that The Hunger Games came out. And I bought this book originally for my husband because he absolutely loved The Hunger Games trilogy and I wanted to find another book that he would enjoy. So I picked this one up and he absolutely loved it. I don't know if I've ever seen him read a book so fast as he read this one. And this is a story about a boy named Thomas who one day wakes up in a lift to be deposited into the glades where all these other boys are and he only remembers his name. He doesn't remember where he's where he came from or why he's where he is and neither do any of the other boys that are in the glade. And this is Thomas's story about him and trying to get out of this maze that surrounds them, I believe. And a girl shows up at some point, which has never happened before. And Aaron has been trying to get me to read this book for so long and I really need to get around to it because I think I'll enjoy it. And it's a pretty short book, so I think it'll be a quick read. So. I want to pick this one up, especially because we have the remainder of the series as well, so there's nothing that's going to slow me down as far as getting through this series. The next book on my list is a classic, and that is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I do have a reason for why I haven't read this book yet, and that's that I don't like unhappy endings or specifically tragic love stories, which I know this is a quintessential tragic love story between Catherine and Heathcliff. And I have been wanting to read this book since I read Twilight in high school because this was Bella Swan's first book. And I'm the type of person that if a book is mentioned in another book, then I want to read the book that was mentioned. And I just have never picked this up. I've had this book for years and years and years and just haven't gotten around to reading it because I don't want my heart broken, but I also want to know why everyone loves it. So definitely need to get around to this one and hopefully I will soon. You guys should try and hold me accountable on that one. <laughs> and we might as well keep it in the family because the next book I have is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I feel as though everyone has read this book and I don't have an excuse as to why I haven't read it because I've owned this book for a really long time just like Wuthering Heights and I really need to get around to reading it. I'm not going to go into the synopsis of this one because I feel like most of you will know what this book is about or have a general idea. I just know that it's about Jane's life and I know that I should pick this up because so many books are inspired by this book and so many people love this book and I really need to read it. It's a long one, which usually I love long books. So it's just another one that I need to get around to reading. This next book is yet another one that I've had on my shelves for years and that is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. This is what I feel like is a classic in the science fiction world. This is the story about a boy who's being trained via video games to help protect the earth after it's been invaded several times, I believe. And he's really, really good at it. And it's his story. And I know they've made a movie now. And I'm the type of person that if a book becomes a movie, I immediately rush out and read the book because I just want to know what it's all about and why it's so good that they'll make it into a movie. And I just have never done that. And I know so many people love this book and I think I will too. I just haven't ever gotten around to reading it. These next three I'm probably the most ashamed of and that is Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworthy Wisp, uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander, Harry's Personal Property, and The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. Companion books to the Harry Potter series that are literally so tiny I could read them within an hour at most. And there is zero reason why I haven't read these before because I should have read them by now and I haven't. I am hoping to pick up though the new editions. Have you seen those of these three books? Absolutely beautiful hardback fa fabric, excuse me, fabric cover. I really need to add those to my collection. I mean, I don't need to, but I need to. But anyway, I don't have an excuse not to have read these. So I really, really need to get to these soon and hopefully will do so 
because of all of these books, I really feel like there's no excuse. No excuse. I should have read these. I have a nonfiction book on my list, and that is The Importance of Being Little, What Young Children Really Need from Grown Ups by Erica Christakis. I have had this book for about six months now. I purchased it when I saw the reviews on Amazon were extremely high, and this sounds like a wonderful read. As an early child educator, I'm constantly trying to continue my education and learn as much as I can about these little ones, and what a great book about what kids need from you because sometimes that's not always clear and I want to read it. I almost always pick it up after I finish a book like I really should read this one next but then I put it down and pick another one. So hopefully I will be getting to this one very soon and I will probably do a book review on this one just because I feel like not many people have probably talked about it yet and some of you may have an interest in it so yeah this one I really should try and read it before the school year starts. Just maybe that'll be my goal. I'll read it before school starts at the beginning of September. So again, keep me accountable, guys. I'm counting on you. And I have a Jane Austen novel, Emma. I love Jane Austen. Absolutely adore her writing. I think she's wonderful. And I've never read this. Yet another classic I've had on my shelf for years that I haven't picked up. And this story sounds like so much fun. This is the story about Emma, who's 20, and really into matchmaking and setting people up. And there's it's supposed to be a comedy of errors somewhat and misunderstandings. And it just sounds like so much fun. I also know that it's, or excuse me, I also know that Clueless is loosely based on this story. And I mean, I grew up in the 90s what 90s kid didn't love Clueless. There wasn't a successful sleepover if you didn't watch Clueless. So I absolutely need to pick this up because I have no doubt that I'll love it. And yeah, I mean, I'm doing Jane Austen a disfavor by not having read this yet. And last but certainly not least, I have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This has been a recent discovery since I discovered BookTube several months ago, but the fact that it's a loose Beauty and the Beast retelling, which is my favorite fairy tale ever, and one of my favorite Disney movies ever, and major Belle fan over here, and that it's a fantasy, and that so many people love it, and rave about it, and everyone seems to have read it, that I just feel like I should have read it by now. I mean, everyone loves this book, especially after this weekend, I got to catch up with my cousin, Tessie. Hi, Tessie. Hi, Grant. And this is one of her favorite books. And I was just like, I need to read it. There's no excuse. I need to read this book because I know that I'll probably love it. And I need to know what I'm missing out on. So again, another one. Hopefully you will hear from me soon about my thoughts and that I've actually read it. Alrighty, so those are the books that I feel like I should have read by now. And there's no hard and fast rule, obviously, to reading. Reading is a hobby. It's a passion for us. And we don't have to do anything, but I just feel like I'm breaking my own personal rules by not having read these yet, and I'm really hoping to get around to them soon. So if you have any books on your list that you haven't read yet that you feel like you should have, or if any of these books you think I should pick up ASAP, let me know why. So thank you, thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you like this video, please like it, and if you loved it, please subscribe, and we'll see you in my next video. Happy reading! We thank you. I give you permission. I guess. Uh-huh. Amy, today I'm gonna be doing a video. It hurts. You're burning holes in the back of my head. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. The first bark, burk. The first burk. Burk, burk, burk. The first. Mm. Rambles. Aaron.